Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and welcome back to all the new foods I tried this month. This month being July. Before we get started with the fun, I just wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with a whole bunch of different classes taught by teachers or experts in their field. They have classes on knife skills, surprisingly, photography, uh, photo video editing, drawing, uh, animation, and what I'm personally using it for, learning how to draw on Procreate on my iPad. I'm currently taking a class called Draw Animals in Procreate plus Tips for Art Licensing Sales by Kat Coquillette. And I don't have anything to show you because I literally just started this class a couple days ago, but it's been a good time so far. And this class, as well as others in like the Procreate section, sometimes give you a free brush download. So that's always really appreciated. I just downloaded my brushes. I'm in like the second section of the class and so far she's been a great teacher. Not only do some of the teachers give you free brush sets or stencils or drawing ideas, but you can upload your work and have them or your classmates critique them and give you feedback, and Skillshare is always having new classes uploaded. Also, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my bio will get one free month of Skillshare Premium. Definitely check it out, I think you'll find it as useful as I have. But that's all for our sponsor, onto the video. This is the series that I post once a month where I give you the scoop on all the new vegan food that I tried this month and whether or not you should go out and find it for yourself or just avoid it and save your money completely. Without further ado, let's get started with July. We're about to taste test some frozen meal, uh, Mongolian beefless something something. No, it just says Mongolian beefless. Mongolian Beefless by Sweet Earth. It's supposed to have 14 grams of protein, some, some beefless, some rice, I guess, and vegetables and stuff. And right off the bat, we're having like a expectation versus reality moment because I microwaved it. And let me tell you, they did not need to make the bowl this big because there's, I don't know if you could tell without me moving the can. There's just not much in this bowl. Also, the beefless looks a lot like dog food, which <laughs> I don't know how to, I'll show it to you more close. I don't know, I'm just not getting good first impression from this. I'm just really not. Oh, it smells like dog food too. Okay. It doesn't taste bad. The texture is very dog food-esque, very much so. But the taste is okay. The taste is a little dog food-esque, but like still good. A hint of spicy. I love snow peas or sugar snap peas or whatever these kind of peas are. I love them so much, they're like one of my favorite vegetables. And they're cooked fine. I love chestnuts. Water chestnuts, that's cooked fine. Yeah, it tastes fine, but it's not a lot of food at all. It's, it's really not. I'd want more veg and more rice. I would potentially get this again if I had the time to add more vegetables to it just to bulk this up. Like I would eat this with a salad. Yep, I'd eat it. Hello guys, I, I've seen these around in life many times. These right here. I, I don't know if y'all have seen these but it's a wax bottle with candy inside and then you like bite open the top and then you suck the candy from inside. And I always assumed that it was beeswax. People always told me it was beeswax, so I never even looked at it before. But out of just like curiosity today, I pull, I was at a candy store and I grabbed it and I looked in the back and it said refined wax. And I was like, what the hell is refined wax? So I look it up, it's not beeswax. It's like a vegetable wax. So I'm going to taste test these. I'm super curious. I've also seen people eat the wax, but I advise against that. I'm not gonna eat the wax. So, Roberta, which one would you like to try? No. Oh, this feels so weird. I guess I'll try red then. So, what? You're supposed you to bite, bite it the open? top off and then You're you not supposed to eat this though? I don't think so. Don't eat it. Does it say, wait, look on the outside to see if it's like, no, it just says drinks. So you bite the top off yeah. and you drink it? Cheers. <gasps> oh, no. It's good though. It like squirted. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sour. Cheers. Ooh. The yellow one's really good. You want the rest of mine? Try yellow? Hold on. 
Yellow was pretty good. Yellow was better than red. That was good. That's all I have to say. Wish me luck with my shirt. Drop tips down below. How to clean red food dye out of a pure white shirt. Goodbye. I was gifted a very interesting product. Very interesting. Um, it's called Golden Ratio, and I have the original right here that I just made for myself. It's basically coffee, but ever so slightly roasted, like the tiniest bit roasted. Like it's roasted less than even a blonde roast. And then they um, give it to you in a tea bag, like a, like a giant tea bag. And then you, you basically make coffee tea with it. You steep your coffee tea bag. Um, and then your coffee tea comes out tea colored. Can you see? It looks darker on camera, but it's very, oh, there you go. That's a good color. Anyway, um, and then you drink it. You can put sugar in it or milk or whatever you put in your tea. And they're, they're like supposed to be coffee for tea drinkers. I am both a coffee and a tea drinker. So cheers. Very light, very interesting. I haven't tasted anything like this. It's it does not taste like coffee. It tastes like like coffee tea. Don't know how to describe that. Tastes like coffee tea. Very very light, mild. Doesn't need sugar. Um, sweet a little bit. A little bit like chocolate. Just a tiny bit. Don't know how to explain it more than that. But I do like it. So if you don't like coffee and you want more of a tea experience, Give it a try. Very interesting. Hello, hello. Very super short review. Uh, because I did that dumb thing where I finish something before I get the chance to review it. I can still give you my thoughts on it, but you won't see the actual product, just the package. I'm so sorry. So I was sent milk. Milk. Okay, it says blends of plants tastes like milk, like tastes like milk milk, okay? It's organic, non-GMO, glyphosate residue, residue free, blah, blah, blah. Ingredients, Watts oats, Watts? Watts? My hand's slipping because I lotioned it. Water oats, sunflower oil, coconut cream, sunflower seed, extract, fava bean protein, potassium, carbonate, nutritional yeast, salt. Does not taste like milk, does not taste like milk. That being said, I don't like the taste of dairy milk. Like, before I went vegan, I didn't mind the taste of like dairy ice cream and cheese, but I never liked the taste of dairy milk. So the fact that this doesn't taste like dairy milk is not a bad thing. It just doesn't taste like dairy milk. You do taste a little bit of the coconut and stuff. And honestly, drinking it on its own wasn't a huge fan. But I did have it in cereal. Delicious. It was good. It was good. I think uh, uh, as like an ingredient in something, like in cereal or whatever else you would put milk in. I think it's good, but on its own, you do taste the coconut. Yeah, those are my thoughts. Yep, mm -hmm. Decent, um, thick, good texture, but I only would have it in stuff. Hello, real quick, we're about to try the smoked ham tofurkey deli slices. I always get the lightly, the oven roasted. I always get the oven roasted. I always get the oven roasted, but at Target, they only had smoked ham. Kinda smells like hot dog. Uh, so we're about to try this one today. I'll show you the container in a second. I'm just gonna It's like Lunchables. It's just packaged right here Yeah, tastes like hot dog Ham smoky hot dog ham. I like it. I would definitely get it more flavorful than the oven roasted So I'm assuming it'll be a more delicious sandwich. I like it. I'd get it again. In our last New Foods video, I tried those kind bars that I absolutely, you know, fawned over. They were amazing. And in that short time, Kind has come out with pints? Pints? My mom actually got this pint for me in a Walmart in Pennsylvania because as soon as she saw it, she knew that I'd want to try it. Um, and she's amazing. So this one is Coffee Hazelnut. And people were telling me that they were unsure of whether or not it would be good because the first ingredient is pear juice. Now, I don't know about you guys, but coffee hazelnut pear juice, it doesn't excite me, you know? And it's not even like a diet ice cream. It's like a, it's like a full blown ice cream where the first ingredient is pear juice. You know what? I'm not hating it. I'm gonna try it. 
Uh, the next ingredients are water, almonds, sugar, tapioca, hazelnut, tapioca, coconut oil, coffee, cocoa powder, etc., 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 etc. Um, and we're gonna try it. I took a few scoops out so we can take a look at the swirl. There was a bigger swirl there, I promise. The swirl was okay. It was a decent swirl. I just put most of the swirl into my into my little serving cup. I don't know. You see the chocolate there? You can see it. Oh yeah, my my nails are green. Um, I'm a fan of the neon green and the avocados, but I just don't think they go well together. That's okay. Hmm. Well. It's bitter, but I think that's from the coffee. So I'd have to try it in a non-coffee variant to see if the bitterness is just from the coffee. But it's not bad. Mm. Maybe I do taste a little fruit. I don't know how I feel about this. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. And the bars were so good that like, why would you follow up those bars with a mediocre product? It's mediocre, it's fine. I don't know if it's a flavor I don't like or the actual ice cream. So I'll let you know if I can get my hands on another flavor and we'll have like a more thorough review. But bye. Well, this is an interesting taste test. Now, I know this came out ages ago, months ago, so long ago. Why did it take me this long to see it in store? I don't know, but we have today not new. Oh wow, my nails match. Um, chickpea bite and avocado thing from Starbies. Um, I was there this morning and I saw it and why not? Hi Daniel. Hi dad. Are you taking a photo of me? Lovely photo. He said it's a lovely photo. Thanks. Isn't that a lovely photo? That's me recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start off with the fact that the vegetables do not look amazing. Um, like if they were in my fridge I would eat it but I wouldn't buy it in this condition. The thing that I'm most curious about are these chickpea bites. I expect them to be so dry, I choke. Mushier than I thought it would be. They taste exactly like I thought they would. Less dry than I thought because they're too mushy. They taste exactly like bad falafel. I would eat it if I was stuck nowhere with only a Starbucks in sight. Actually, I take it back. I wouldn't. Because if there was only a Starbucks in sight, I would get a toasted bagel with avocado. So, I wouldn't get this again. But, it's worth trying, right? And then it also comes with some nuts and seeds. I'm not gonna taste test that because we all know what that tastes like. But yeah, my review is, uh, mm. I'm glad I used my Starbucks points and didn't pay $7 for it. Hey guys, little taste test. We're gonna be tasting, testing these mighty chips, these Zach's Mighty Organic tortilla chips. They claim to make nice strong tortilla chips from actual tortillas. These chips are made with two types of organic yellow corn, flint and dent. Dent corn is commonly used in tortilla chips, but flint corn is what makes Zach's Mighty Tortilla Chips their very corny flavor. What gives them their very corny flavor? I have some salsa. I wish I had guac, but I do not. Seems hearty to me. Mmm. It does have a slightly different texture than some other tortilla chips I've had. A little bit crunchier. I spilt salsa, but I think I spilt it back in the cup, so we're good. Trying it on its own. Salty, crunchy, delicious. As it should be. Hello. Do I have an interesting taste test for you? Today we're taste testing some ramen, um, but it's very unique. It, I'm trying the spicy beef flavor. It's, I'm talking, I'm gonna talk calories, so if you don't wanna hear that, I'm gonna skip ahead, because that's what makes this thing unique. Not that it's low calorie, but if you wanna listen, listen. Anyway, so it's 190 calories, whatever. That's like not a lot of food. Um, so I'm probably gonna add something to this when I make food, but it's 31 grams of protein. 31, to put that in perspective, like the average non-active woman needs a minimum of 40 grams of protein a day. So that's getting like almost, it's getting more than three fourths of your protein in one snack, not even a meal, a snack. That's crazy, so I'm so curious. So I'm gonna make it. I did not make it yet because I wanted to show you the ramen before it's being cooked, because it looks weird. It's not completely dry. It's like, I don't know, it's still bendy. Um, so 
I'm gonna make it. It comes with like a seasoning packet as well, and I'll let you know if it tastes good. Because if it tastes good and it's this much protein, that's crazy. Crazy. Sorry, the brand. The brand is called Immy. Immy. The brand is called Immy. I M M I. All right, listen up. My hopes not high. Um, the noodles. That's my recycling and trash. Don't look at that. The noodles smelt great. I even threw some broccoli into here because I just wanted like more substance. Um, but as soon as I opened the beef broth packet, it smelt like this dirt tea uh, Chinese medicine man gave me once. True story, long story. Um, and mm, the 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 beef powder not mm -mm, mm -mm. so maybe if i don't like this flavor i'd like the other two flavors they have cheers you know the texture of the ramen is not great i don't know what to say and the broth doesn't taste as bad as it smells that's just because it tastes a lot milder than it smells what are these noodles made out of Maybe I didn't cook them enough. I think I did though. I'm hesitant to give this a bad rating. So I'm gonna withhold judgment until I try a different flavor. And next time I'm gonna cook the noodles longer cause I have a feeling I didn't cook the noodles long enough. I don't know. All right, super, super quick review. We're gonna try the Silk Ultra Milk. I've been wanting to try this for ages and it's been taking too long, so we're just gonna drink it straight from the bottle. Okay, let's do this. I definitely just spilled. It tastes like a, like a, like a, like a protein shake kind of, but like very, very mild protein shake. It tastes like soy milk, but like slightly thicker than usual. I'm into it. It tastes like soy milk, but like, Thick. Thick soy milk. I like it. Especially if you're trying to get protein in, I approve. I have an update. I've eaten a little bit of that milk in some cereal. It is not a cereal milk. It is like a milkshake milk or like a something thick and um, a sweet sort of milk. It's, it's, a, it's a valuable milk, I think, with limited applications, in my opinion. Unless you're like bulking or something and can deal with like strangely thick milk in your cereal as like a negative side effect to the extra protein. It's an odd milk. It's, it tastes fine. It's just drink where you would also drink thinned out protein shake. You know, there's just not very many applications to that, but I'm sure the applications that apply are great. That's all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Did I miss anything that you think I should have looked for? Do you agree or disagree with my reviews? Let me know. And like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. I Ooh, don't look, there's like a mess on that table here. I have a Patreon also down below if you want to get access to my videos early and access to my Finsta where I rant about life and have no filter. That's all for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.